I'm Zig Ziglar, and I want to introduce you to the marketing module of our Training Nuggets program. I believe that for most companies, marketing is the weakest link in the success chain. In this module, you will learn that you don't have to spend big money to get big results. You'll learn tips to get customers in the door, how to get them to spend more money with you, and how to cement your relationship. But let's pretend we've never heard the word marketing. In fact, let's just forget that word. Instead, we know that we own or we work for a business that provides products and or services, and our challenge is to attract customers to our business and entice these customers to remain loyal to our business. How are we going to accomplish these goals? Simple. We're going to put our business in the path of prospective, profitable customers. Then we're going to capture them. Ultimately, we're going to keep them by satisfying their wants and needs. And they're going to spend large amounts of money with our business year after year. We begin by studying our marketplace. We need to know the profile of a profitable customer for our business. What are the characteristics of such a person? Your business may appeal only to men or to women, or your business may appeal only to people who earn more than $75,000 a year, or perhaps your business appeals only to teenagers or to senior citizens or to business executives. You get the idea. Let's pretend I'm a customer and I spend $20 every time I visit your business. You might say I'm worth $20. However, let's assume I visit your business twice a week. Now my value has doubled, so I'm worth $40. But look, I visit your business eight times a month, so I'm worth $160, right? If I'm satisfied with your business and I continue buying from you year after year, I could easily remain your customer for 10 years or more. Look at my value now. Over 10 years, I'm worth $19,200 to your business. Wow, now when I walk through your door or when you visit me, how can you ever forget the value that I bring to your business? Do you think of a customer in terms of lifetime value? Probably not until now. Ask a business owner or an employee how much a customer is worth and they can't tell you with any certainty. If they only realized how much money is slipping through their hands. Differentiation is the best way to separate your business from the competition. There are a variety of ways by which a business can differentiate itself. No one buys anything unless they feel they want it, they need it, or they just like the person who's selling it. Find out what your customers like and dislike, where they live, what they drive, how they spend their weekends, and much more. Bond with your customers so that they get emotional about you. With a direct response ad, you use the headline to grab the consumer's attention and the call to action to bring the consumer to your business. Consumers don't care if businesses are old or new, funny or serious, the biggest or the smallest, or even the best of its kind. Consumers care about themselves and they want their needs met. They look for businesses that can fulfill their desires and they want it all now. Aside from its impact on profit, the most noteworthy feature of direct response advertising is its measurability. You can't easily track the results of an institutional ad, but you can always track the results of a direct response ad. Place a direct response ad in any medium and you'll know within a short period of time if the ad was effective simply by counting the responses or results generated. Did the ad earn back its investment plus a profit? you'll know almost immediately. Armed with that knowledge, you'll know if you should repeat the ad, stop the ad, create a new ad, or select a different medium. And that's how you get maximum results from advertising.